Good morning. Welcome to Foster Family Fun. I'm LaToya. Today, as you can see behind me, I'm in the garage with the baby chicks. Just going to give you a little bit of an update. It's Tuesday, just two days after we cleaned out the brooder on Sunday and took the chicks out for their very first visit outside on the grass on Sunday. If you haven't seen that video, make sure you check it out. For everyone who's new to our channel, welcome to Foster Family Fun. Make sure you subscribe to our channel and hit the notification bell so you don't miss out on any of our future Foster Family Fun. Also, if you have been watching our videos, but you haven't subscribed yet, now is the time to go ahead and subscribe to our channel and share our videos with your friends and family so that we can grow our YouTube channel. Now, like I said, we just cleaned out the brooder on Sunday, two days ago. And for everybody who have been watching our chicks on live stream, which they are still live streaming. So if you haven't checked that out yet either, go ahead to our YouTube channel, Foster Family Fun, and click on the live stream and you can see the baby chicks in real time. But you know that these chicks mess up the brooder. They just, it doesn't matter how often I clean it out, it's always messy. And also, as I've talked about on previous videos, and you can see it in the live stream, the chicks have been jumping on top of their water and um, food feeders and roosting on top of there. So I've been to Tractor Supply Store this morning. That's what this bag is. And I got them a completely different feeder, something that is bigger to hold their food in. And I also have a five liter water container because yesterday they're drinking water so quickly. Yesterday, I think between nine and two, I changed the water like three or four times. So it's like I've been having to change their water every two to three hours over the last couple of days. So they're drinking a lot, they're eating a lot, which is great. And as you guys can see, they are growing a lot for them to be three weeks old. But I leave out unlimited food, so they always have food. I never, you know, take the food away at night or certain times during the day. They have food 24-7, and also they um, have fresh water all throughout the day, um, which... From what I've read in the videos that I've watched, that's pretty much how you're supposed to raise your baby chicks um, with unlimited food and unlimited water. And also in Tractor Supply, I've, I had to buy another bag of food. So I use the uh, chicken starter feed and I bought a 10 pound bag. And as of, I think it was Sunday, they have completely gone through the entire 10 pound bag of food feed. So that means that they're eating about a half a pound of food a day. So I know a lot of people are like, dang, what are you feeding those chicks? How come they're growing so big? Well, they're eating, they eat all day, every day. That's pretty much what they do. Eat, drink, poop, and sleep. Guys, so let's see what they look like. Here they are, they've gotten a lot bigger. And as you can see on top of this water container right here, there's poop on top of there. That's because they jump up on top and they roost up there. And before when they were younger, they were just jumping up and then jumping right down. But now they actually sit up there and then they fly off, which is why I have the net on because I'm scared that one day we're just going to open up the garage and not know that a chick is out and she's going to go flying out of the garage door. We have to chase her through the neighborhood. So I try to keep the net on top. 
And as you guys can see, they love to fly and flap around. Their wing feathers are really coming in. They're starting to get a little more brown. And I think as they mature, they're going to be, you see that one just fly? See, that's what I'm talking about. That's why I have to keep the net on there. But as they mature, they're going to be a lot darker brown. Um, and they're going to get combed. See, that one roosted on top of the food container. I'm telling you, you guys. And they just get up there and then they'll sit on there for a while and just stay and stay. But they're going to get combs on the top of their head. And I think the combs are going to be a little bit red. But let me go ahead and move fairly quickly. I'm going to, I'm going to take this food container out and I'm going to take this water container out and switch it up to the new containers that I bought from Tractor Supply. So let me move a little bit quickly before they end up flying out completely. And then I got to chase six chicks down the street. This is the new water container and the food container that I just purchased this morning for the chickens. And I'm hoping, one, I won't have to refill so often now that I have uh, bigger feed and water containers. And then two, the chickens won't be roosting on top. So now the food I've been using is this Dumar poultry which is chick starter grower. Now, I am not an expert on chicken feed. As you guys all know, this is my first time raising baby chickens. This is just the feed that I decided to purchase at the store after doing my research, um, reading books and watching videos and making the best choice for how me and my family wanted to raise our chickens. I'm not sponsored by this company. I'm not trying to promote this company. I'm just trying to show you guys what we use. And as you can see, this is a 10 pound bag. I wasn't quite sure at first how much they would eat, how fast they would eat. Like I said, we're new at it. And they finished this 10 pound bag a couple days ago. So I would say they're eating about a half a pound of food a day but the reason why I picked this is because when they're starting to grow out of course when they're babies and they're just growing you want to have higher protein so this one is a 20 percent protein to support weight gain and muscle development and then also um, you have to get chick starter grower so it is let me show you guys what it looks like in here. It's like crumbles. It's crumbles. So it's not, you know, full pellets or anything. It's crumbles. So the chicks will be able to eat this and digest this better. So this is what I wanted to get because I wanted non-medicated, no added antibiotics in in my chicken feed because the whole point of me starting out raising chickens is I want to raise them of course humanely and I want them to not be pumped with medicine pumped with antibiotics and be able to have the best and freshest eggs possible and this is the company that had everything that I wanted in a baby chick feed at the store that I chose to go to, which was Tractor Supply. So that's just an, a little bit of an overview of the food that we're using. And that's pretty much what I have been feeding my baby chicks, just fresh water and the chick feed. And I leave them an unlimited amount so they can have as much as they want all throughout the day and I haven't had any problems whatsoever I haven't had any issues with any sick baby chicks um, my chicks are healthy their eyes are not cloudy I check them every day their um, feathers are growing in nicely so I would say so far in these three weeks it's been a success I mean to be honest with you I wasn't really sure how raising chickens 
would go for me. So I ordered five, not knowing that the company would give me one free extra chick. So I ended up getting six chicks. And the reason why I ordered five is because I had heard and read that sometimes during the shipping process, you know, the chicks are weak or whatever, or they get pasty bud and they get very, very sick and you would lose chicks. So honestly, I thought with this being my first time and the reason why I got five is because I thought that I might actually kill a couple chicks. I mean, not to sound, not that I would do it intentionally, but just, you know, being a newbie and not knowing what was in store for myself, I got extra, but I'm sure that our family probably would have done just fine with maybe having like three chicks at the most. So I've actually surprised myself that the chicks have done very well. And I also think that it's because of the hatchery that I use. And I ordered them online from a hatchery and they were shipped in the mail. If you guys want to know a little bit more about that process or if you want me to do a video specifically on how to order chicks online from a hatchery, just let me know in the comments section below and I will make a video specifically on that process. Okay, so as you can see, I changed their setup around a little bit. Um, I have the bigger water container over here and then I have the food container. So they are kind of just, as you see, walking all over it. <laughs> I hope, hopefully they'll figure out how to peck and eat the food. Oh, they figured it out already, but it looks as though they're going to be walking all over it. And... Hopefully this will be a better setup. I'll have less chicks roosting and pooping everywhere and flying all up. Almost flying out of the brooder. So we'll see how it goes. And if this doesn't work, I'll try something else and see how that works. But it's trial and error for us. This is my first time doing this. And so far for these first three weeks, the chicks are healthy, they're growing, they're happy, and they're alive. So I feel like, you know, what we're doing has been working out really well. So I will keep giving you guys updates on the baby chicks and the progress that they're making. And right now it even sounds funny for me to even call them baby chicks, as big as they look now. I mean, they're only three weeks old, but my goodness, they do not look like babies anymore. But I will keep giving you guys updates on their progress. And make sure you subscribe to our channel. Thanks for watching. Say bye-bye chickies. Thanks for watching.